Hello and welcome back viewers. Today we'll be covering a very interesting scenario where I want to pull information from another Excel file into my current Excel file. Now we have seen that we can easily refer uh, different sheets within one Excel file. However, today we'll see how it works. So on the right, left hand side, you can see I have uh, mentioned the format that how it works. So let me show you up front that uh, how we can achieve this. So let's say I want to pull this information and uh, in this file, this is my current Excel file and the other file where this information is residing is this one. I want to list down all the paid invoices in my current file. So I'll start with editing the cell, go into the edit mode by pressing equals to and start following the format that I've listed down on the left hand side. I'll start off with a single quote, then open a square bracket, mention the file name, invoices.xlsx. It's important to mention this with the extension and you should know the sheet name as well. Close the single quotes and then Put an exclamation mark which shows or tells Excel that this is a reference from an external source. And I then mention it, the cell number. So you can see it immediately pulls this date from this file. Let's cross check if the invoice date is 24th. Similarly, I use the same format again invoices or x just to speed things up once i am done with this one i'll copy this so next time round i don't take long for you you see it immediately pulls the same information Invoice amount, let's double check again. Yep, it's absolutely correct. Let's do this again. And this time round, I'll refer to cell E2. And after this one, I'll refer F2. And over here, I'll Prefer G2. So you can see I pulled this information directly from another Excel file. It's important to note that, uh, for example, if this file is residing at the same location where my current file is, then there's no need to mention the exact path of the file. In case it's residing in any other location, you need to ensure that you're putting the X entire uh, address over here where the actual file is located. So you need to put the exact location, whether it's in D drive, C drive. So it is able to pick that information directly from there. So you can list down this information and refer any cell in any other file of Excel easily by form for following this formula just as an easy and quick way of doing things one other way of doing the same thing is put an equals to mark over here and select the column or cell you want and you'll be done with this as well so this is another way so i'm showing you two ways of doing it one is the more manual way and this one is a more quicker way. So both are right ways of doing it. It's just up to you which one you choose. See, so we were able to achieve the same result in a much quicker way. So but it's always important to know 
the actual work that goes behind the uh, formulas. I hope this uh, video will prove helpful for your thoughts that you want to achieve similar to these. So until our next video, please click the like button and remain subscribed to the channel. And do take care of yourself and bye-bye.